Hey, what's up guys? Matt Manduke here, and uh, today's topic of interest is the time that I went to White Castle. And it's probably notable that the uh, time it happened was shortly after uh, the Harold and Kumar movie came out, which, so you know what we were doing, right? Um, on top of that, it, the closest White Castle to where I'm at now is in Tom's River, New Jersey, which is about a two-hour drive. Um, there was a girl that I used to date there. The 36-hour squirter vlog is actually about that. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, I didn't know, but my cousin, who was the guy I was going with, was talking to that girl. Now, he thought he was going to get with that girl, but that girl was instantly addicted to me, as you can see when you watch that video. Um, so she was trying to lure the both of us in so that, you know, I could spend the night with her. So, we uh, did our thing, um, actually I think we were rolling that day, and uh, I ended up having to stop in Atlantic City to break a $100 bill, but that's all we did in Atlantic City. I put the $100 bill in, it gave me two 20s and a 10, two 20s and a 10, and we left. Uh, and then we headed up the Tom's River. Uh, when we got there, the White Castle was closed, so of course we went to this chick's house, and... Um, if I remember it properly, uh, I walked in, she dropped her pants, and my cousin just watched me do my business for like four or five hours or something. But in the morning, she took us over to White Castle. And it was like right after they stopped serving breakfast, my stomach might have been a little bit messed up from where I was rolling the night before. But we, we, we smoked our stuff, and... We went in and I think I ate like 20 of the little burgers and, and I don't really remember leaving there but I know that as soon as we got out like onto the highway my stomach hit me and much like the Taco Bell story when my stomach hits me it um it hits me it hit me and said you got 60 seconds to find a bathroom and I'm like hey I gotta go you know and she was like now and I was like yeah yeah so she pulls into the super wawa and um I run inside holding my my gut like uh you know I'm sure you've seen people do and um the men's room says add order on it and I'm like oh I gotta go anyway so I bust up in there and there was no toilet there was just like a hole in the floor and, like they could completely remove the toilet so I was like, well, I can't do that. I, I just, I can't do that. So I walked out and I was going to go in the women's room, but there was a line out of the door. So I was like, uh, I'm not waiting in that line. I can't do that. So I run back out to her truck and she's like, you okay? I was like, well, I couldn't go. There's no toilet. And she was like, oh, well, I know somewhere else you can go. And it was up the road a couple minutes and I'm like, like doing everything in my power to hold it in. You know, it, it, it's bad at this point. And, um, she, uh, pulls into her dentist's office. And it was one of those places where you walk in, you gotta get a key for the bathroom, even though it's like three feet away. Well, the entire waiting room was full. Now, it wasn't a very big waiting room, but it was big enough. There was probably about 15 people in there. And, um, so I get in there and... and I sit down, it's got like a little RV style sink, and it's really tiny, there's no fan, and I don't believe in courtesy flushes. There is, however, a gap, like this big, underneath of the door, and we're talking about a room that's only about as big as the front seat of the van. I mean, it, it, it's, it's that small, it's maybe four by six, I mean, tiny. And uh, so I sit down, I start doing my thing, and uh, we're, we're going to describe it as a chunky chocolate pudding. It, and it was just pouring out of me. I must have been in there for like 45 minutes. It was really bad. And I, 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 didn't, I didn't do the courtesy flush thing. Um, I just let it go. Let it go. It, it, was, it, was, it still disturbs me to this day. So, when I finally get done, you know, I clean up, no problems with toilet paper, nothing, nothing like that Taco Bell thing. And, uh, this was actually way before Taco Bell. And, uh, so I open the door, and there's nobody in the waiting room. And, uh, 
And I go to the counter to return the key, and there's nobody behind the counter. And I'm like, where'd everybody go? Can't be that bad. Could be. And I go outside, and she's like in the first spot as soon as you walk out with like everybody's outside, including the dentist and like the guy he was working on had stuff hanging out of his mouth, and 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 it's just everybody's there and I'm like oh I'm sorry I'm really sorry about that but it had to happen so I get into her truck and I'm like hey you might you might not want to come here for a while and she's like what are you talking about I'm like well this is your regular dentist right and she's like yeah I'm like well all these people just saw me get into your truck and unless you really don't care about that then you might not want to come here you know women care about that stuff the rest of the day, I think we played mini golf in Summers Point. We uh, watched Clerks too, which really turned her on. Or what kind of idea of a person she is. So yeah, anyway, that's the story of White Castle. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.